In this lesson, we are going to look at plant and animal cells. First, we are going to look at an animal cells. Part of animal cell include cell membrane, mitochondria, cytoplasm, nucleus, ribosome, origin apparatus, rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, and a lysosome. We shall look at in details the function and structure of each of the following parts. Parts of a plant cell include chloroplast, mitochondria, virtue, cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm, Golgi apparatus, nucleus, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, and rough endoplasmic reticulum. You recognize that a plant cell has got all organelles found in the animal cells. Then you add on a chloroplast only found in a plant cell, a virtue only found in a plant cell or a big virtue. Animal may have virtue but small virtue. A cell mem a cell wall on is only found in a plant cell. You can add on starch granules. Starch granules. Starch granules are only found in the plant cells and not animal cells. Differences between plant and animal cells. Plant cells have good cell walls, while animal cells lack cell walls. Plant cells have good chloroplast, animal cells lack chloroplasts. Three, plant cells have good large central virtues, while animal cells lack large central virtues. Or they may have, even the virtues may be absent, or if they are there, they are very small. Five, plant cells have got tonoplast, a membrane around a virtue, while animal cells lack tonoplast. Plant cells lack centrioles, animal cells have got centrioles. Parts of plant and animal cells. One, cytoplasm. This is a solution or a coil suspension enclosed by a cell membrane. Function is of a cytoplasm. One, suspends key organelles. So the, 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 the mitochondria, the, 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 the ribosome, the nucleus, they are all suspended within a cytoplasm. It contains nutrients for the organelles, stored as a material, some materials like starch, stored in the cytoplasm. It maintains conducive environment for cellular reactions. Two, cell membrane. A cell membrane encloses the cytoplasm of a cell. Function is of a cell membrane separates the contents of the cell from the external environment. Two, it controls exchange between the cell and the external environment. Three, it bounds organelles. Organelles perform specific functions within the cell. Four, it acts as a receptor for hormones and other chemicals. Five, it enables uptake of materials by phagocytosis and pinocytosis. We shall look at these processes later. Six, supports enzymes of complex metabolic pathways. 
the enzymes of complex metabolic pathways are attached to cell membranes. The fluid mosaic model of a cell membrane from time to time will be asked to describe the fluid mosaic model of the cell membrane. The cell membrane is about 7 nanometer. It contains a continuous phospholipid bilayer in which proteins are scattered in a mosaic manner or in irregular manner. Proteins penetrate through the bilayer at varying degrees to form extrinsic and intrinsic proteins. The intrinsic proteins are those that penetrate through the membrane, while extrinsic proteins are those that float in the bilayer. In other words, in other words, a cell membrane is made up a phospholipid bilayer in which proteins are scattered. Some will go through the bilayer, which we call intrinsic proteins, while others will float on the bilayer, and we call these ones extrinsic proteins. This one is, is intrinsic protein is they penetrate through the membrane. This one is extrinsic. Extrinsic protein is it floats within the bilayer. Then this one is phospholipid. Phosphor lipid by by layer. So the fluid mosaic model is about seven nanometer thick. The seven nanometer thick. It is made up of a continuous phospholipid by layer in which proteins are scattered in a mosaic manner or they are scattered in a random manner. Some proteins penetrate through the membrane and we call them intrinsic proteins while others float on the membrane and we call them extrinsic proteins. Functions of components of cell membrane Phospholipid bilayer allows fluidity and permeability to non-polar substances. Cholesterol makes the membrane less fluid at higher temperature. Glucolipids and glycoproteins are recognition sites. They are the sites which recognize the presence of hormones on the cell membrane and the other chemicals. Number four, proteins in the cell membrane provide structural support to the cell membrane. They enable active transport through the membrane. They act as receptors for hormones and other chemicals. They act as enzymes. They act as electron carriers. Act as energy and electron carriers. Three, the nucleus. This is the organelles that controls the activities of a cell. It is bound by a nuclear membrane. The functions of a nucleus are, it contains DNA, 
for cell division and the hereditary. It contains a DNA, the hereditary material of an organism. It controls the activities of a cell. Actually, it is the nucleus which limits the size of a cell because it cannot control a very big cell. For mitochondria or my, mitochondrion, it is a cell organelle bound by a double membrane with the inner membrane followed it to form cresting. The structure of a mitochondria it is bound by a double membrane. The inner membrane is folded to form cristae. Within the inside of the mitochondria, you have a matrix, you have a ribosome, you have DNA, which is not enclosed in a membrane. It is responsible for respiration. Five, endoplasmic reticulum. It is a system of fraternity membranes. The part covered by ribosomes is called rough endoplasmic reticulum. And the part that lacks ribosome is called smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The functions of endoplasmic reticulum include transport within the cell to it provides intercellular support and free ribosomes are sites for protein synthesis. Six Golgi apparatus consists of flattened membrane bound sacs called cysteine. Function is of Golgi apparatus one produces glycoproteins. Two, produces secretory enzymes. Three, produces cellular components. And four, produces lysosomes. Lysosomes are responsible for breakdown of worn out structures within the cell. Seven, lysosomes. These are small organelles bound by a single membrane and contain enzymes that break down worn out structures of a cell. Eight chloroplasts, these are found on any plant cell. They are double membrane bound organelles that call out for the synthesis. When you look at the structure of the chloroplast, it has got outer membrane, inner membrane, bounding, a matrix code, a stroma. You have a circular DNA. You have a structure of membranes, like a pair of coins called a grana, granum, plural is grana. Then between the grana, you have intergrana membrane. Similarities between mitochondria and chloroplast. They both are bound by a double membrane. Both contain DNA, both contain ribosomes, both occur in the plants. Chloroplast occur in the plant only, but mitochondria occur in the animal as well. Both contain enzymes. Hey, 
ya kuzi wabulundi Atambula bulunji Owachiri wachitiango nonsura na ye Gatulia na ye Owa muya kabutia, owa wuzi wubutia, ono tufa na ye Ono ya wasinga Tema kwe gute terira Ula mkwe butambulira Owa butiti butia Owa kwa kakutia Ono ndifa na ye Ndivana ye Kwenja kala Nomo tima kwange Kwekusinge Uvalonji kwenonze Kwenja kala Nomo tima kwange Kwekusinge Uvalonji kwenfira Kwenja kala Nomo tima kwange Kwekusinge Uvalaka vumurunji Kwenja kala